Name basis. Hey, I'm Darren. I'm Jeremy. I'm Chris. We're here on the uh, Friends Don't Let Friends Tour Alone Tour 2019, and we're just going to give you a little a tour of our guitar rig. So, this is Sam Jacobs, my guitar tech over here. Wow. He'll help me out on these explanations. <laughs> First guitar we have is my Sir uh, Classic Antique. Uh, it's in standard, but it's Capo 1 for one song, I believe. For one of Chad's songs. One of Chad's songs. Great guitar, one of my favorites. Um, very resilient, it's got a roasted maple neck for for all of you that uh, care about that stuff. It's just sturdy, the, the yeah. roasted maple stays in place really nice. Yeah, so it's great. Uh, the newest addition is this uh, <laughs> Paul Reed Smith McCarty, actually built for Paul McCartney, which is crazy. Um, the people at PRS were kind enough to send this to me for this tour and it's kind of become my main guitar. It's super lightweight, yeah. it weighs like five and a half, six pounds, and it it resonates, it rings beautifully, so. It also stays in tune unbelievably well. <laughs> yeah. I've had to tune one string in the past two shows, <laughs> so it's, yeah. it's pretty awesome. And then this one is kind of a workhorse, it's my 57 gold top, it's actually a 2014 custom shop, which is also an unbelievable guitar, stays in tune quite well. All reliable. All reliable, yeah, and it's kind of my go-to. It's my go-to for live and studio. So this is down a half step. This one works really well. Uh, it just is very, very full and has a lot of attack. So I find for the half step down, it works really nicely. Also for the drop C sharp. Um, yeah. And we should mention we use D'Addario strings on everything. Thank you, Larry Davidson. And uh, this one has 11 to 52. Yes. Yeah. So great guitar. This is my. Uh, this is also an old face. This is really old. This is old. Yeah. This is. <laughs> It's a 2006 uh, Les Paul Standard, and this one is drop D, standard drop D. Drop D, also 11 to 52s. Yeah, and this is, I've had this guitar for years, it's been through, I've had millions of pickups in this one, so it's been through a lot, but it's still rock solid, and it sounds really beefy. It, it sounds really good in drop D, yeah, for sure. Uh, the last one I only use for one song is my uh, Gibson Songwriter Deluxe. This one is its just a standard Dreadnought acoustic. Um, yeah, I mean, this is just kind of... It just sounds good, direct, like... Down right the middle the acoustic, yeah. yeah. We use it for the encore uh, and for the VIP stuff as well. Yep. Flipping back and forth between tunings and it stays great. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Good. Hey guys, I'm Sam. I'm the stage right tech for Dallas. I work for Darren and Chris. Uh, quickly to show you the last guitar on here. This is Dallas's acoustic. It is a Taylor 814 CE. Uh, it is a Sitka spruce top, rosewood back and sides, ebony fretboard, and uh, it sounds absolutely beautiful. It's got the new Taylor Expression 2 system in there, uh, which is their new pickup system. It sounds great. Uh, as far as the rig goes, uh, Darren's been using a Kemper for a while, but we just converted to doing everything through a Kemper, uh, including the acoustics and the Ganjo. So if we'll take a look down here. Uh, we got the Shure ULXD wireless, which is the dual wireless. Channel one is Darren, channel two is Chris. Um, and with the Kempers, we're using a lot of the Michael Britt profiles. Uh, basically, each song just has its own preset, so we'll just arrange the Kemper for the set, whatever the set may be, because we're alternating slots. Um, and that's pretty much it. We just switched from having Chris running a couple different lines to doing everything within the Kemper, and it's just easy and it sounds fantastic. So. So uh, on deck we keep it really simple, uh, basically we just have the Kemper Profile Remotes which allow you just to scroll through the different presets. As I said, we have a different preset for each song, so at the beginning of the show we'll just arrange the set list on the Kemper and that's it. Both just using the Boss volume pedals here uh, for volume. And uh, as far as picks, we're using the 88 Dunlop Tortex, these are kind of the special Dallas Smith, Chris Ulrich, Darren Savard signature. Uh, up here is the Rock Slide. Yeah. Rock Slide. Uh, and very important, we have the John Cougar cassette tape. This is crucial for the rig. This is what makes the whole show work. <laughs> All right, this is the newest addition for my lineup. This is a 2010 Gibson Firebird. Uh, it's had a headstock brake, but as Sam will attest to, it's a solid, solid axe. I find with the headstock brake, it actually stays more in tune. Um, that's a Kijiji special right there. Yeah, so it's great. <laughs> this, the folks at PRS were kind enough to send out for this tour as well. It's a PRS Silver Sky. Um, this thing rocks, so it covers all like the single uh, single coil stratty kind of clean stuff. Stays in tune, great, sounds awesome. Super light. 
This is a Sir Classic T. Um, I actually swapped necks on it. It used to have a maple neck, and I took the rosewood neck off of my Classic Antique Strat and put it on here, and it has Lawler's, uh, the Classic classic T Lawler's in it. Uh, it's pretty beat up, but I love this thing. You like your guitars beat up. That's true. <laughs> this is another Kijiji Special, Dan Electro Baritone. Nothing fancy, just sounds awesome. Stays in tune, sweet tiger strap. Change strings on it once. This is a super special loaner just for tonight. This is a 63 Burgundy Mist Strat. Thank you to my buddy Lawrence for bringing this down. I am not worthy to play this. I feel terrified holding it, but here we are. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It is so crazy. This is a... Uh, Holy cow strap made in the Netherlands too. My buddy makes these, he's fantastic. This is a banjitar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Jeremy Brakes. I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown. Some sh uh, guitars I use in the Dallas Smith show. I primarily play rhythm guitar. Um, 2010 Martin OM21 Special. Love this thing. 56 VOS custom stinger Les Paul P90s. I'm only one using P90s on this tour, so it kind of contrasts really nicely with what Darren and Chris are doing most of the time. This is a 2016 Sir Anti Pro. Darren has the same guitar, left handed. We generally don't play it on the same songs. I'll, I'll usually use it when he's on his PRS. Russ was nice enough to give me this for the tour. It's a, I believe it's a 2019 DGT white. This thing's quite dark, so it sounds great when Chris is on a, generally when he's on his Silver Sky or Darren's on his uh, McCarty as well. And right there, I'm through a camper, generally Michael Britt profiles, um, SC30 matchless, or uh, generally a third power. Anyway, that's my rig rundown. So, uh, just a shout out to our buddy Simon Fisk at Plunge uh, Audio for providing us with these uh, in-ear monitors, which are the best. Honestly, the best. Like, they just, they seal perfectly. They sound amazing. Um, like Sam said, we use Kempers, so there's no amps on stage. And we rely on these heavily for, for sound and to have everything be clear. So, it's quite amazing. I'm going to hide my phone number here. Uh... <laughs> so, yeah, no, it's, uh, these, are, these are awesome. So, thank you, Simon. Simon Rose. Simon Rose. <laughs>